So it's a Wednesday night and doing something a little bit different tonight. I'm here with Stu behind me, he's sat in his chair chilling out behind us. That's it, Stu, nice wave. So yeah, we're uh, doing a bit of catfishing. Well, trying some different baits that we don't usually use, which we'll go into in a minute. But um, good thing is, Stu, you've already had one, haven't you? One run. He had one cat run and uh, took him into the pads and um, it come off but I'll show you where we're fishing in a second and what, what, what um, venue we're at. So as you can see we're on a nice little say pretty intimate water um, and it only goes to there. There's just off, us two on tonight and quite sociable this swim as you can see we're both on like a point there's our bivvies together here so uh, yeah just having a nice relax after work and um, off in the morning pretty early but we're hoping for a cat or two so unless anyone turns up I've got this half of the, the lake if you want to call it a lake pond uh, as you can see just out there, I've got a dumbbell on. It's got a dead bait on the moment. Just trying to catch some liveies. Um, and my other rods just down there off that bank. About three foot off the bank. With another dead bait on. You can see I've chopped some dead baits up as well. Bit of, um, what do you call it, chum. So I'm fishing. Um, I've got chum on both, but round both rods, but one's well they both got dead baits on one's on the bottom and one suspended but hopefully he'll get a livey after and um, I'll have a live bait on that one on the dumbbell I've got another dumbbell with, rig with me so if, if we get a couple of liveys I'm going to stick two out so as you can see Stu's got this little basin or whatever you call it um, he's got this after pond and he's got one over there and then Lily Stu I've got one on the that's it Lily's there. Bit more to your left. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's there, it. Then Lily. Uh, yeah. And I've got one on the. You can just see it fizzing. It's like an outlet oh, pipe. Oh yeah, it's just uh, it's just all scattered. Then yeah, there's an out outlet pipe from top pool somewhere there. there. And he's got one a few feet off there, haven't you? A few feet off that. And um, he's already had. I've had a run off the lilies. Yeah. A bit gutted. He lost that. Yeah. Um, I just netted a fish for somebody else. Um, who come on? So, let's see what happens eh Stu? Yep. Looking I'm, good. I'm confident throughout the night. I think we'll, we'll both have one or two. I, I think one of us is going to get one at least. Yeah. So what are you fishing on Stu? Oh, <laughs> the secret <laughs> the, the secret bait. So, I've got, um, I think it's about 20 mil, 22 mil halibut pellet on one. And on the other one, I've got... Are you going to tell them? A day old chick. Oh, a day. Little day old chicks, what you feed your snake. And um, that's why I had the run on. Yeah. Just hopefully. Hey, what's it. the good thing about the day old chicks? What's the best cheap, thing about cheap, the beach? Cheap, They're cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> Very cheap bait. <laughs> Very cheap bait. So, yeah. So he, he, he who does wins, won't it, Stu? You, um, you tried it and you've had a run, so your confidence is up, innit? I've always wanted to try it on FK. Yeah. I've tried them for pike. I've never had any luck with pike. I've I've, um, I've spun them in, I've wobbled them in, I've done everything. I've had them on as dead bait, just ledged out, floating. I've done everything. I've never had them on the pike. Um, and I thought to myself, I wonder whether it'd work for cats because my cousin has actually had a bit of success with cats in Wales on them. So I thought I'd have a go. Um, and, it's... and now I'm feeling confident. You are, you're buzzing now. That's gone, so. <laughs> yeah, buzzing. I'm a bit gutted, I've only brought six. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine having six a night on them, bloody hell. So, yeah, looking good, looking good for a bite anyway. It's yeah. dead muggy. The first proper warm night we've had for ages. So, we're hoping they're on the feed, having a bit of a munch. But we'll see. So, time is getting on a little bit. It's, I think it's about half seven, between half seven, eight o'clock, is it, you? So, yeah, it's eight o'clock. Um, we have been here a couple of hours messing around and trying to catch some liveys and just set the bivvies up because it's roasting proper clammy. 
so yeah we just um, we're all set up now baiting i'll put some chops in i'm gonna try and get a live and stick one of them on and um feel a bit more confident with live bait on than deads so give it a whirl hopefully we'll get a run before dark and then a couple during the night or something you never know i'm not sure what the stock is in here of cats i know there's they go up to around 40 pounds but i don't know how many there is like whether there's 10 20 30 or i don't know um but hopefully we'll find out <laughs> coming up well it's just gone nine o'clock and um we've um, been fishing for some liveries we've got a few roach only about five we, we did catch a few more but they were minute so we've got we've got four or five that we can use so i've got two on on my dumbbell rig and Stu's just put one on the on the bottom bait rig and he's got his um cheapy day old chicks on the other rod so we'll it's see what spooked, it's what just been yeah he's live he's just been spooked we think he kind of like took some line and usually from piking experience because something's near it pulled a bit of line off so um yeah we're hoping we're hoping for a run i was just watching my dumbbells going round in a circle it's quite hypnotic um so yeah i've got them out got them put them out with the boat um it's just a way of doing it save casting the liveies uh, it's going crazy one of them the one i've just put out so yeah which was uh waiting here now see if anything happens so we're hoping we're hoping for a fish aren't we before we go to bed my my left one there is going bonkers I reckon I'm going to get a take you reckon tonight on my live here I, I reckon well we've both got to get a take it's going bonkers that isn't it it is that one over there oh yeah. my god it is going mad that so anyway um, yeah let's see if we get out trying the liveies trying the chicks if nothing happens we might I've got a bottom bait um, with some chops lined up to go out tonight, another rod made up, so we'll see what happens there. It's just she? starting to cool down now, isn't it? It's, yeah, like, it's, it's like that time where the witching hour. Happen, yeah, <laughs> if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen now. Yeah. Between now and five in the morning. It's dead clammy as well. It's perfect for cats, this, I think. Really clammy. It's dead still in as well. But um, just watching me. Just cooling down, and it? it's nice. Yeah, nice. So I think I'm going to stay up for an hour, me at least, just you no, know, just to cool down, yeah. and then jump in bed. I think. But, My bed or yours? Uh, whichever. I'm not fussy, me. Not fussy. <laughs> Should we put the keys in the pot? Put the what? The, the keys. keys. In the pot. <laughs> There's only me and you, though. We're not going to get anyone else's. <laughs> right. I think we'll have a catch up if anything happens. Stu's just yep. having his what you what you call them relaxing brews. Relaxing. The twining tea bags. Twining tea bags. It's the only way I can get to sleep. I oh, know, and we'll have one in a bit, because, um, and, oh, look, see, man's gone under again. It's pulling, must be pulling really hard. Anyway, right, hopefully we'll see you in a bit. With a fish on the bank. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh, my left one's going bonkers still. It must, it must just be a lively one, there. See if I can pick it up on here. Something might be spooking it, you never know. You never know, mate. Like you see, like you said before, you see the underwater videos of pike. Yeah, I know, and they just hang around yeah, and yeah, hover they're just around. They're terrorising them, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I think cats, I don't know, cat, I think cats are a bit more explosive, aren't they? I don't really know. I'm just making stuff up now, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> like you right. always do. <laughs> just being normal, aren't you? Normal. I was going, just calm down now, babe. It's going bonkers. Seems a so camera on it stopped. That yeah. one's going now. That one's there. That one's a little bit deeper. I've extended that one, made it a bit deeper. But, um, we're hopeful. I've never caught one on these dumbbells, so I'm hoping for the first. Just gone half ten and we've um, retired to the boudoirs. Uh, nothing's happened, so we're still hopeful. But um, yeah, I'm going to try and get some shut eye now before bed. Um, probably get stay awake with Stu snoring next to me. Probably be asleep in three minutes, oh. knowing him. <laughs> yeah. 
bomb is I'm right next to him so I can hear every frigging snore he does so yeah let's hope we'll get one anyway and uh, catch up with you later so here we have Graham <laughs> playing fucking head shoulders knees and toes <laughs> with his first fish of the night oh. Hopefully it's that fucking. Jesus. Hopefully it's the bigger, eh, Greg? Could be into the bigger, eh, Greg? The Advanta reels. <laughs> the biking reels. Did it feel big? It was fighting well, innit? Going and going and going, look. Not bread. Oh, where'd it go around that corner? No, it's coming this way. It's trying to know. The old dumbbell. The first one. Can't be a ten pound for this. No. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've just seen its tail. Did you? Yeah, it's a decent one. Said by 12 o'clock, it's not 12 o'clock yet. What time is it? Uh, it's probably only half an hour. I'll watch 15 minutes with someone turning off at night. Yeah. Awesome, aren't they? Oh, look at that, get in. Try and do the shifter. Tail shifter, yes. Yeah. Get in, get in. The sail shifter. The tail shifter. Superb. Oh, look at that. That's a good one. Is that the big one? I don't know. I haven't got a clue. It's wide, that. So, what do we have here? Higgins only gone and done it. I'll I'll stuff us nut us. He's only gone and done it, hasn't he? He's only done it. On the old livey. On the livey. I was um, I was dreaming about. I, was, I don't know what I was dreaming about, but I was having a lovely dream anyway. And he went and ruined it. Oh my word. By catching that on. unit. Head on that. It's massive, isn't it? Well, that to the, I mean, Graham's had a bigger one than this before, but this to date is the biggest cat I've ever seen. 29 11. 29 11, yeah. I don't think we'll be able to pick this up. How did that fight, Gray? Mad. <laughs> What did the fight last? I think we 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 said about well, I got recorded. We when you started filming, yeah, six minutes, and I recorded about six minutes, didn't I? Yeah. Go on, let's have a look at. Her. Let's have a look at this bad girl. 
She's a unit, eh? <laughs> oh my word, come on. Can we get that okay? Yes. Oh, at least they behave a bit. Look at that. I've not even got all its tail in, it's too long. <laughs> Is it missing a whisker on the one side? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I bet, bet, this, bet this is well known, this one then, won't it? What, one whisker or something? <laughs> <laughs> Whiskers. I bet. I bet. Is that the, the fish grunting? Yeah, I think so. Look at that. Oh, wow. Can you get it all in? I've still... Well, kind of. Yeah, to a fashion. There, I've got it all in there. Oh. I've not got you in now. No, I'm not bothered. Let's have a look. The size of its head wide. It's bloody wide, isn't it? These kecks are soaking now. Wow. What an animal. What an animal. Really Two that carbs, one whiskey. Is that his name, Willie One Whisker? Regular. They literally are just a big grey tadpole, aren't they? God. It's not happy now, is it? No. Lovely. Lovely matter. Well done, mate. Ooh, what a fight. What a bloody fight. <coughs> so, we're just about to release Higgum's unit. Got the unit itself. <laughs> it's going. Look at, Look at the length of that. Look at that. Can they get the head on it? Going backwards. Oh, yeah. They go out backwards. It's just pure muscle, aren't they? Yeah. Look at that. Come on, he doesn't want to leave. He's treated too well, you see. Old Willy Wong Whisker. Bye. It's gone. Into the deep. Half past four in the morning and Stu's rod's just gone. He's got, got something in the net which will show you in a sec, just come in light, in light about 10 minutes, I think. Nice Stu, nice. So all night we have been getting bleeps, or should I say Stu has been getting bleeps, keeping us both awake, oh it was horrendous. I was contemplating reeling in um, because I've got a bait on what shouldn't really attract a gap. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got on? What have you caught that on, Stu? This has been caught. Um, this was 22 mil halibut pellet. 22 mil <laughs> halibut pellet. It must have been picking it up or something else. Oh, nice. I'm not joking. Two o'clock. I last looked and I was still awake. But all I've, night. All night. It's just I've coming late. More signs than soft neck, Anna. Yep. I've pulled my rods in different places and it's just been getting plagued by carp. So, nice meadow with a funny but, mark on its side. Do you know what? If that was... Just got another bleep. On the same rod you just cast out. Yeah. If that was in the 20s you'd be buzzing with <laughs> that, wouldn't you? It looks nice. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. A little bit blurry because it's just coming light and it's not. Just put my head torch on it, really. Well, yeah, lovely. Let's get it back, eh? Yeah, let's get it back. Try and get an extra hour's sleep now. Yeah. It's gone. <laughs> Didn't oh, even yeah. see it go. <laughs> well, then, Stu, it's a fish anyway. It's a blank, isn't it? Yeah, blank saver. That's Three mirrors. <laughs> oh, I'm going to try and get my head down for another hour before work. Yeah. 
morning, morning. Oh my god, I'm tired. Uh, just gone six o'clock now. Oh, eyeballs won't wake up. Um, oh, I was going to say then, yeah, Stuart had that fish at half four ish, and I've just had a, got another hour's sleep. I feel worse. Yeah, Stu's alarms last night were bleeping and bleeping and bleeping. <laughs> He said, he said before he nearly reeled in, nearly reeled in, he was getting on his nerves that much. I think that, that mirror carp he had was picking his bait up all night. And then probably, because it's one of them halibut pellets that like melts a bit, it's probably gone a bit smaller and a bit smaller and it's picked it up and uh, got in its cob and he caught it. But yeah, but if it wasn't for that, I'd have had a decent sleep. I just every time I was just about to drop off with his rod and go did 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 I was like, oh my god. Because we're on running rigs. But never mind. Never mind. Got a lovely full day of work to look forward to now. Brilliant. So um uh, always a bit abrupt the endings on these videos, but I've got to pack up now. We'll start packing up in five minutes when me when me um, eyeballs have woke up, and then hopefully we'll get another run before we go home. I doubt it. I doubt it now, but there's still a chance. So uh, we'll start packing up now. I can imagine one of us got screaming out. Oh, it'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Be good. Coming to the end of session now. It's half six or something like that. Aren't it? We're just packing up the babies. And um bit of a strange session for you, wasn't it? A fucking little carp on a massive pellet. Fish for carp and don't even have a run for a couple of weeks. Come and fish for cats on a 22 mil, probably even bigger, <laughs> 24 mil pellet and catch a carp. Of a about, carp well. about five pounds. <laughs> and it, I was plagued all night by carp, wasn't I? Just yeah. picking the bait up, just beep, beep. We've had zero sleep hardly. Oh. About two o'clock it was the last time I looked. And then we got woke up at half four with your fish, didn't we? Yeah. Slept after that then. Yeah. Ended up putting my receiver in between my legs inside my, my sleeping bag to dampen the sound because it was going off all night waking him. <laughs> so thoughtful. So thoughtful. So I think we're going to come here again though, aren't we, Stu? We are. I just changed my tactics ever so slightly. Yeah. Um, I'd probably use a big piece of spam something what the carp can't pick up um, do you use a dumbbell rig again my first carp that ever on my dumbbell rig cat <laughs> carp yeah first cat ever and it was a good 29 just short of 30 on it it was a lump on it it was I think my biggest only 30. massive head on it yeah one whisker one whiskered willy my bunk, my, um, the libraries are still active. My um, dumbbell's going bonkers over there. I thought I was going to get a run at first. What's on it? A roach? Yeah. Yeah. Dead active. Still. And that's been out all night since like 10 o'clock last night. Mm. Right, so I think we're going to leave it there because we've got about half an hour to get the stuff Packed together. Up. Yeah. Get ready for work. So Dreaded go. work, eh? Where are we going next? Would you come back here? I'd come back I'd come here. Come back here, yeah. I'd just like I said. It's quiet, just, isn't it? Yeah, I would changed tactics. Um, uh, ever so slightly, just so I didn't get plagued by them carp. Yeah, yeah. Because I wouldn't come in this water and fish for carp anyway. I think they're a bit sm I'd too small, go in aren't they? There or anywhere else? Yeah. yeah. You'd come on here on the feeder, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think a few people float fishing, feeder fishing. Yeah, it'd be decent on feeder or something. So I'm going to start off there and we'll catch you next time, wherever, maybe on here. I'll we'll see. Maybe on the river for some barbel. Oh yes. If I can persuade Graham onto the river. But he's bobs. not feeling the I'm rivers not, yet, not. are you? Unless we go Bob's. He's not feeling, he, he's been spoiled by Bob's Island, he won't I have, go anywhere, I? but I know. no other river in the country is good enough for him. He's a river snob. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a just a Trent man, the he's through and through. Trent snob. <laughs> right, so we'll catch you soon anyway, thanks for watching. See you see next time. See you later time. guys. See ya.